Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Arias, and today we'll be updating y'all on Arcturus Therapeutics. There have been a lot of news since my first video, and a big stock price move, which has generated a lot of attention for this stock. Let's get into it. Before you continue on in this video, check out the first video I made on Arcturus. It goes through all of their technology and advantages. I'll link it in the description below. Today, I'll cover a technology that I didn't understand while making the first video, and the potential it has to help improve Arcturus' candidate for underdeveloped markets. Then we'll get into various news items that have come up since making the first video. First, let's cover the technology I didn't mention last video, lyophilization. It's essentially flash freezing the vaccine into pellets for transport and storage and then mixing back with water for injection. This eliminates the need to keep the vaccine in extreme freezers that many places lack the infrastructure for. For context, Pfizer's vaccine needs to be kept at negative 70 degrees Celsius or about negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, while Moderna's needs to be kept at a normal freezer temperatures of negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. It is unclear to me if Arcturus's vaccine will still need to be in a freezer or if it can even ditch that requirement, but it will not need extreme freezers like Pfizer. This, in combination with their vaccine's other characteristics like a low single dose, makes Arturus's candidate the optimal vaccine for less developed countries of the world. Let's talk real quick about the appreciation in stock price and the more recent moves. October 8th is when I posted the first video, and the stock price was at about $50. It appreciated a bit from there before falling off a cliff around earnings. More on that later. It had a straight shot from there at about $35 all the way to the 52-week high of $129 before dropping about 22% yesterday and another 12% today to close at about $89 a share, which is still up 790% for this year. Now, to get into some of their news, the first news to come out since the last video was the mostly positive test results from the phase 1-2 trial of the COVID-19 vaccine. The market reacted sharply to this and moved down about 40% in one day. I think this is because there was a confusion about a comment in the press release that was cleared up on the investor call. The vaccine was shown to be well tolerated and generate an immune response increasing, increasing at least until day 43. They had signed manufacturing agreements, which is an excellent sign for the immediate availability of the vaccine. Now for the not-so-good news. In my first video, I presented the possibility of a one or two microgram dose, which provide huge benefits for manufacturing and cost of the vaccine. Unfortunately, Arcturus has selected a 7.5 microgram dose and two doses at 5 micrograms to move forward. For context, Pfizer's vaccine will be two doses at 30 micrograms and Moderna's will be two doses at 100 micrograms. So Arcturus will still have a significant advantage, just not as much as previously thought possible. They will continue to move ahead with more studies as well as talk to regulators. Singapore, where the vaccine is being tested and developed and who has funded much of its development, is a place that could approve the vaccine anytime it deems safe enough even before the completion of the second trial, so be on the lookout for that. The next piece of news just dropped a few days ago and was that the phase 1b study for OTC deficiency had begun. I'm going to take this time to talk a little bit about the OTC program as I had not discussed it in the previous video. OTC deficiency is a serious urea cycle disorder that can cause seizures, coma, and death. There are currently no FDA-approved medicines. This new phase 1b study will evaluate 12 patients with OTC deficiency after doses up to 0.4 milligrams per kilogram were well tolerated in healthy subjects in the first phase of the study. Preclinical and phase 1 results showed robust OTC protein expression, which is a good sign for the program going forward. OTC deficiency has a worldwide prevalence of roughly 10,000, so the treatment will not have a huge market size, but insurance companies may be willing to pay high prices as this would be the only treatment available. Overall, I'm really happy to see another part of Arcturus's pipeline moving forward. The final piece of news that has service recently is of $150 million capital raise at $110 per share. Personally, I really like this move. They're capitalizing on a high valuation to raise a little money to secure their future. Of course, this means 6% dilution, but that will be of little consequence in my opinion if this means they can reach their potential. However, the market seemed not to like it and proceeded to drop 20% on Tuesday. With this recent capital raise, Arcturus is in a great cash position. They had $300 million plus on the balance sheet at the end of Q3, and after adding $150 million from this raise and $45 million in the limited recourse loan from the Singapore Economic Development Board, they will have approximately a half a billion in cash and equivalents with only $60 million in debt. They had a net loss of $21 million in Q3, but their expenses will go up short term as they continue to fund trials and especially as they scale up production of the COVID-19 vaccine. However, with this new cash balance, even if their losses doubled to $40 million a quarter and they somehow didn't earn any additional revenue, they still have three years plus of cash on the balance sheet. They stated that they will use the proceeds to continue clinical trials as well as to scale production of the COVID-19 vaccine. For a moment, I want to continue with the revenue speculation from the first Arcturus episode. I have heard rumors of a price of $70 a dose, which is higher than both Pfizer and Moderna with a total cost of $40 and $50 per course, respectively. However, Arcturus may think they can offer their vaccine at this elevated price because of the 
simplified logistics of a one-shot vaccine. On the Q3 conference call, they stated laid the foundation to produce hundreds of millions of doses over the next 18 months. At $70 per dose, they could rake in billions in revenue. And at these revenue numbers, their current valuation will look dirt cheap. Finally, let's sum it all up. Arcturus looks to have a bright future. I've heard rumors that their vaccine will be available in Q1 of 2021, which is not too much behind the big players. They will have huge revenue increases with hundreds of millions of doses coming in the next 18 months. It's also good to see their other programs moving forward with the initial dosing of their OTC deficiency treatment. They also subtly announced their intentions to get into the flu vaccine space, which obviously has a huge total addressable market. This is an investment advice, of course, and you should do your own research, but here are my opinions on whether or not it is worth a buy now after the run-up and where the stock price is headed in the long term. It is up over 100% from where I did most of my buying in the 40s, and I probably will not purchase more unless it falls pretty substantially. This is just because it is already the second largest holding, and with all the risks still associated with this company, this is the most I feel comfortable with. However, I still have not sold any either, and if I had not already built a position, I will buy in on any pullback. I am planning to hold my shares until I think the company is being properly priced for their superior technology. Another thing I'll throw out there is that Arturis is a potential buyout candidate for Big Pharma due to its technology. This would put a floor on any big fall of Arcturus. Finally, if I were to speculate about the long-term share price of Arcturus, I believe they may end up closer to the valuation of BioNTech at $30 billion and Moderna at $60 billion, which leaves plenty of upside from here. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, or to stay tuned for more Arcturus updates. It really helps the channel grow, and I sincerely appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and have a great rest of your day.